Hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. Yesterday we looked at how to do our forward roll. Today we're going to look at how to do our crescent kick. If you haven't watched the previous video, click here to see how to properly do your forward roll. Assuming you didn't click off and you're still here, we're going to look at three things today. We're going to look at how to do our crescent kick, some common issues that people have with doing crescent kick, and an advanced way to do our crescent kick. If you haven't already, consider clicking the subscribe button to get more content of how to do different types of tricks. Without any further ado, Let's move on to the crescent kick. The first thing you want to do when you do your crescent kick is put one foot forward and put your kicking leg in the back. From here, you're going to rotate your hips. Your foot is going to come up and rotate as well, pointing towards your target. And you're going to turn and look your head at the same time. Start lifting your leg up and bring it all the way around. A very simple way to get started with this is to progressively get higher and higher as you practice it. So your first crescent kick might look like this. second one could look like this. Notice it's just a little bit higher, but it's still progression and that's what matters. So one more time, turn your hip over and while by turning your hip, you're going to start turning your bottom foot. Look behind you, look at your target, lift your leg up and bring it back down. A common issue that beginners run into is that instead of pivoting on the ball of the foot, they pivot on the heel of the foot. This causes issues because it doesn't, you can't turn as well from here. And then from here, your hips get locked in together and my legs get crossed up. So you want to make sure that you're pivoting on the ball of the foot. Another common issue that beginners run into is that they don't turn their head fast enough. So if I attempt this kick and I don't turn my head at all, I just let it follow my shoulders, it looks a little bit like this. Which is alright, it's alright, don't get me wrong, but it's not good. The two things that you want to make sure you do is pivot on the ball of your foot and turn your head to look at the target in front of you. So putting everything together and going just a little bit faster, it looks like this. Practice that movement 10 to 15 times and then bring it up just a little bit. Bring it up about six or seven inches. And then after you practice that for about 10 or 15 times, bring it up even higher. Now that we have all of that, let's put it together. Turn your bottom foot, turn your hips, look over, kick. As mentioned earlier, I'm gonna teach an advanced way of how to do this trick as well. So once you've got your crescent kick good and it's nice and high, try to add a jump to it. From here, bend your knees, same thing, twist your body up, turn, jump up in the air, crescent kick over. Doing it slowly looks like this, jump, crescent kick. Same progression as the other crescent kick, bring it just a little bit higher each time you try it. Try it about 10 or 15 times and then try to get it above your head height. From the crescent kick, it's very easy to go into a scoot. Simply do your crescent kick and bring it behind you into a kneel position for your scoot. Same thing with your jumping crescent kick. Although it might be a little bit more awkward, it's possible to, from the jumping crescent kick to go into a scoot formation. That is everything you need to know about properly doing your crescent kick. I hope this tutorial proved to be helpful to you. I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you all in the next video.